Nick Quatch, mm-hmm. Nick Quatch. Um kama umeweza kumfuatilia karibu uh, katika mitandao kijamii he acts like a baby daddy <laughs> yes na unajua mimi ni connection na uko na issue na mimi kwa nini hapana si wewe ni connection na baby daddies because you know mm. like today and I, i asked a very genuine question mm. kwamba yani wewe pale ulipo um upate mtoto mm upate mtoto alafu mm. uamue kwamba hautalea mtoto mm. how unajua mababy daddy wako aina nyingi kuna baby daddy ambao wale ni deadbeat na kuna baby daddy ambao pia ni responsible co-parents yeah. sasa wakiwekwa pamoja ndio maana inaharibu lakini eh, especially wale ambao E, wakishazalisha wanatoroka ni kama hawajawacha kitu nyuma <laughs> au ndio wanatushangaza hata sisi wanaume wengi ni wale ambao wanataka kulea na hawajapewa fursa who is nick kwach nick kwach ni msanii <laughs> <laughs> nick kwach ni msanii uh, anaigiza uh, anafanya online content uh, wakati mwingine pia au oh, anafanya stage that is theater anafanya acting ya uh, in movies kuna movie pale Netflix kuna zingine pale Showmax niko na movie uh, out uh, kila mahali and then pia kwa wale wenye wanajua anafanya online content ambayo eh, ni baby mama drama na nyinginezo why baby drama mama yeah content. baby mama drama uh, content tumefanya nyingi lakini pia tuliangukia hii moja ya baby mama drama na tulipoanza The reason why tuliendelea ni kwa sababu ili resonate na watu wengi sana. Sijui sijui Nairobi kukoaje lakini ni kama kila mtu anafanya co-parenting. Kwa sababu baada ya kuanza kufanya hii content uh, kila mtu ambaye tulikuwa tunakutana na yeye, nikikutana na mtu kwa taxi, nikikutana na mtu kwa petrol station, nikikutana na mtu wapi, kila mtu ananiambia, "Ah, hiyo clip mliongelelea ni mimi kabisa." Hata ile mlifanya jana nilitumia mama, hata ile oh nilitumia baby daddy, hata ile mlifanya so uh, tukaona tuendelee kuzungumzia wale ambao hizi jizungumzia kwa sababu kama mtu anaweza tuma clip muongelelee bila yeye kujiongelelea then uh, that's why we do it okay yes. do you struggle with it uh, do we struggle with it um, just like any creative work i think creative process iko na challenges zake okay. lakini um, tulipokuwa tunaanza ideas hazikuwa nyingi sana lakini the more tuliendelea the more tulikuwa tuna, tukianza tulikuwa tuna create situations lakini the more tuliendelea tulianza ku tell real life stories za watu yeah. kwa sababu tulikuwa tukutana na watu mtu ananiambia ah wangu walifanya hivi na hivi na hivi mimi bibi yangu aliniacha akaenda akakuwa eh, eh, girlfriend ya mdosi wangu nikafutwa kazi sijui mwingine sijui alifanya nini so ikaanza kuwa sasa tuna tell real life stories so after hapo uh, haikuwa ngumu sana of course the other side of content is kama ina ina make sense kwetu kama wasani kama ina inaleta pesa na kama kuna challenges zetu zenye tuko nazo ki production hizo tu challenges but hizo za kawaida are you comfortable with what you're doing currently because mm. unajua kuna nick yes okay this okay tuacha nena sorry yes <laughs> umeji tofautisha vipi mm. nick mm. nick kwach yes. na you yes. who are you <laughs> <laughs> kujito unajua so, kuna usanii mm. mtu anajiweka jina fulani mm. kando mm, mm, and then this is a different character from uh, who they are ah uh, kweli yeah kweli so, wewe ni nani uh, Even me, i would like to know <laughs> marcus kama character ndio marcus. marcus is the character okay wababa ryan Huyo ndio character ambayo tunafanya nayo bibi mama drama. Uh-huh. Nick Quatch is the person. Nick Quatch is the actor mwenye anafanya Nick Quatch is you. Nick Quatch ndio mimi sasa. Marcus ndio baba Ryan. Uko na mtoto? <laughs> Niko na mtoto. Wangapi? Mmoja. Uh, pia bibi mama drama. <laughs> Ah uh, kila siku mimi nasema kwamba niko na bahati sana ati yeah. ile ambayo nafanya kama msanii is very different na ile napitia in real life. Real of course yeah. co-parenting iko na challenges zake whether mnakaa vizuri ama hamkae vizuri. Lakini ile yenye tunafanya for for content 
ni drama iko na drama sana kuliko ile yenye eh, eh. mimi napitia kama ni kwach kwa maisha yangu mm. of course nimekuwa na one or two uh, instances where baby mama wangu sasa ananipigia ananiuliza eh hiyo kitu mmeongelelea eh, na, naona ni kama ni mimi unanichokoza nampigia nawaambia hapana wewe acha hizo ni content nafanya what happened you guys could not uh, do life could not do life <sighs> maisha ya relationship ni ngumu eh <laughs> naweza sema yetu kwanza ilikuwa we were young uh, i became a father nikiwa nikiwa 22 Yes. Yeye yeah, alikuwa 21. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa watoto tumetoka tu shule, bado tuko maisha ya college campus. Eh, then tukapata mtoto, watoto wanalea mtoto. Eh, kafika mahali tukaanza kuona eh tofauti zetu zilikuwa kubwa sana. So think ni ile wanaita irreconcilable differences. Tungeweza kuendelea. Tofauti nyingi, unajua kuna tofauti za personality. Mkiwa wadogo kuna mtu there is a person you are when you are a child ambayo unafikiria eh, hii ndio kitu unataka lakini the moment mnaanza ku grow mnaanza kugundua eh, nyinyi ni watu wa tofauti kidogo mnaanza kugundua nyinyi ni watu wa tofauti sana kwa sababu eh, mmoja anapenda vitu tofauti mwingine anapenda vitu tofauti kama sisi tulijipata preferences zetu za maisha zile ndoto zetu kama watu zile vitu ambavyo kawaida zinaleta watu pamoja zetu zinatofautiana so kama inatofautiana eh, and then pia of course inaongezeka pia na hiyo message ni ya nani oh hiyo simu nani amekupigia oh eh, inakuwa nyingi <laughs> so hivyo ndio tuli, tulifanyana mbona nimekuangalia and I'm smiling mm. and I don't want to be judgmental yes but they say three quarter of the time yes. ni kwamba mwanamume ndio anayevunja <laughs> mouse <laughs> Yes, you are both young. You are also um, finding yourselves. Yes. However, yes. situation iko hivi. Mm. Mm. So, in this case what would you say? Nani alitangulia? Mm kuvunja mahusiano. <laughs> mahusiano unajua ukitaka kuanza kuangalia nani ametangulia kuvunja, unaangalia na chanzo. Kwa sababu sio yule mwenye ame, ame, ameamka akasema, kwa sababu Mwenipa kama mimi usingizi. <laughs> Umenipa usingizi. <laughs> Unaona kama <laughs> mimi. <laughs> Unaona masawi kama Nani? mimi. No. Eh, chanzo eh. sasa kwa sababu ya fulani ndi amna um, hapana ni kwa sababu um, unajua kuna tuseme for example mm-hmm. mmoja ame cheat na mwingine akaamua kumaliza relationship mm-hmm. utasema ni mwenye ali cheat alimaliza relationship ama ule amesema mimi siwezi vumilia uki cheat nani amemaliza eh mahusiano haishagi kwa sababu ya vitu duni ehe mahusiano yanaisha kwa sababu fulani you made me feel this way yes. i never felt loved yes. i never felt appreciated yes. i felt this way when i was with you yes umenelewa kweli yes na tuseme kweli ni kwamba na fanya utafiti mm. kwamba wanawake wengi kuvumilia mm. mm. mahusiano mm sadly 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 so mm. kwamba wanawake wengi wanavumiliaga mahusiano ambayo mume mm. ametoka nje ya ndoa mm-hmm. ama katika mahusiano mm-hmm. atavumilia mm-hmm. na atambia na marafiki zake mmm unatoka ndapi ngapi kweli ndapi ngapi hamna mtakatifu mm. so tulia mm. umenishika mm. ila tu ya kwamba mm. atatoka kwa sababu ya kwamba anafanyiwa vitu ambavyo hawezi kuvumilia tena kuvumilia mm. cruelty so ya kwako yani mko angalia kwa utulivu mko angalia kwa utulivu um hivi yani ya kwamba kama ningeniangalia wangeza jamani jamani ya kwangu mimi siwezi sema kwamba uh, eh, kulikuwa unajua kuna viwango tofauti ambavyo uh, vinafanya watu wanawachana sijui nita, i don't know i'm trying to explain it uh, in a nice way kakangu. that uh, kuna levels 
kuna wale wanawachana kama wamefika mahali ni kubaya sana mpaka wameanza sasa o oh, nani anafanya nini mwingine anafanya nini kuna wale ambao ikianza tu hivi washawachana i know love feds yeah um but there's there's cruelty true in relationships true and uh, you get to a point where you say imagine i cannot do Metosha. this Metosha. Tosha, mm. siwezi jamani, mm. siwezi. Mm. Yeah. So in, so, case, in my case, Mimi I think kwa kwa vile ambavyo niliona eh, ule ambaye alikuwa na yeye eh, akiniambia kwamba alikuwa na hisi. Her feeling was eh, relationship yetu ilikuwa imeshakuwa toxic kwake. Na kwamba eh, yeye alikuwa na feel tena hayuko comfortable kukua. Na kwanza mimi kitu niligundua na bado sijapata jibu mpaka wa leo ni kwamba how possible is it that one human being can make another human being so miserable like mko na mtu kwa sababu ya mahusiano ya kwamba mnafaa kupendana lakini sasa kila siku mmoja wenu ni kulia tu kila siku mmoja wenu ni sasa hii ilifika yetu pale mmoja wetu alikuwa sasa e, ni kama ambaye um, mahusiano sasa tena hayamfurahishi. Kwa hivyo sasa I think, I think when you grow out of love. Yeah. Yeah. So one of you checked out. It's 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 possible. It it's possible uh-huh. that that both of us checked out. That's why I was saying uh, kuna kitu inaitwa irreconcilable differences. Unajua ukianza kutembea na mtu kisha nyinyi wote mgundue kwamba amwendi mahali pamoja. Mm kila mtu atataka kwenda mahali yeye alikuwa anaenda. Yeah. Mnasema kwamba wewe ulikuwa na ah kumbe tulikuwa tunaenda hivi wayaki wewe na wewe unaenda town kumbe mimi nilikuwa naenda mm-hmm. eh, eh, Ngong Road. So hapa mahali tumefika acha mimi nichukue James Gishuru wewe endelea. Naenda hivi na kama. Eh acha niende. Acha niende hivi ni kama. So eh, baadaye mkiangalia mbele I think sisi wote ah, naenda hivi si kama. <laughs> Unagundua kumbe alikuwa anaenda na nilivundiva ameenda. Yeah. So eh, kwanza I want to make it clear ni mimi mm. niliwachwa. Eh, mimi unajua wakati mwingi eh sijui hata kama hiyo ni Kiswahili right? right. Most of the time eh, u, mkiwa katika mahusiano mm-hmm. kisha mtoto atokee, alafu kisha baadaye mnawachana, mm-hmm. watu wengi ufikiria kwamba ni mwanaume ndiye ambaye alikimbia ndio a happy responsibility ya kulea mtoto. Are you present? Very present. Mimi When was the last time you saw your child? Yesterday. Awesome. Yeah. My child, my daughter is turning 10 this year. Mhm. Yeah. Kwa hivyo nimekuwa Kitu kimoja mnachofanya na mtoto wako ambacho unajivunia zaidi ni kitu gani? Um Mimi uh, nafikiria kwamba when it's all said and done tutapenda sana mtoto wangu akiweza kuwa kusema kwamba baba yangu alikuwa rafiki yangu na hiyo ndio kitu ambayo najaribu sana. Vitu tunafanya ni mingi. Vitu tunafanya ni vingi sana e, zenye marafiki wanafanya pamoja. We go out, we hang out, we do homework, we do we, we do a lot of things together. But uh, the most important one naweza taka kwamba mtu wangu siku moja akiwa mtu mzima ambayo ni less than 10 years from now ataweza kusema kwamba baba yangu mimi alikuwa rafiki yangu na bado ni rafiki yangu. Mimi uh, kama nilizaa nikiwa 22 masawe na mtoto wangu ana turn 10 nina miaka mingapi 32 <laughs> Okay <laughs> Kweli Kitu gani unajivunia zaidi kama kuwa baba mm, kuwa baba mm. um, ni kwamba niko present Kama baba ni kwamba niko present and kwa baba wote Intentionally so Intentionally so na ningependa kuambia ni kwa message kwa both fathers and mothers To the fathers ni kwamba eh, our children wanatuhitaji more than we think they do na wakati unakuwa kwa maisha ya watoto wako ndipo unapogundua kwamba watoto wanakuhitaji ukue pale you are a validation every single day in the lives of your child that eh, in the lives of your children that kila siku akitembea pale nje ile tu kujua kwamba anapendwa nyumbani ana hisia ya kwamba especially kama we ni baba wa msichana kama mimi msichana anafaa kutembea pale nje akijua kwamba her first love ni baba yake na anampenda pale nyumbani na kwa mama kwa mama ni kwamba kama vile Will Smith alisema women are the gateway mothers are the gateway to successful fatherhood ya kwamba mama lazima mruhusu baba kukua baba 
e, sisi hatuna bahati ya kwamba mtoto akiwa mtoto e, unaweza jitafutia njia ya kumlea bila mama. Najua mama ndiye anaweza lea mtoto akiwa hata baba yuko ama yeah, yuko yes yeah. lakini uh, baba anahitaji mm. wakati mwingi sana mama awe na awe anamwezeshe really? like as a woman you should enable the na hiyo ndio kitu naweza sema i am very lucky that uh, uh, nimepewa fursa na pia uh, usaidizi kwa sababu uh, you can't do it alone there are so many things zinafanyika ambazo nyinyi kama wazazi lazima muweke vichwa pamoja na mjadiliane na mkubaliane ndipo uh, uzazi uweze kuendelea muweze kulea vizuri kwa sababu ata, mkipigana mtoto anaona mkipigana wazazi wanaopigana is more danger to the child kuliko wazazi ambao hawako pamoja like kama we ni baba na unaenda kuleta vurugu kwa maisha ya mtoto yeah. ata heri usiwe kama we ni mama na unaenda kuleta vurugu kwa maisha ya mtoto hata heri usiwe patia ule ambaye anaweza kulea mtoto wale but ni vizuri every child needs both parents equally okay nick uh, ni ule tu kipindiki uh, yeah. what has been your highlight in, in your industry as nick yeah. ni kitu gani unaweza kusema tu we wow i think i did this <laughs> Of course, yeah. uh, in my highlight yes. as Masawe, yes. one of my best interviews yes. in my career yes. was to host Raila Odinga. Wow. Mm. Shafanyika? Mm. Wow. Yes. Wow. So, in your highlight in your career, <laughs> unezo kusema, we, what is my highlight moment that you can remember and say, wow, hii najivunia. Unajua kwanza eh, masawe nilishangaa sana ukisema kwamba ulifikiria sitakuja. Mimi one of the most the people Unalinga. I res- one of the most the people I respect zaidi kwa maisha yangu ni wewe masawe na haujui. Ya kwamba eh, mimi you. nikitoka pale high school uh, kuna shows mbili tu nilikuwa nasikiliza mchana. Hapana so sitaki kusema, <laughs> sitaki kufanya usikie hivyo. Na yeah. mara mingi hata mimi nikiambiwa watu wananiambia, "Oh, ni actia nikiwa sijui wapi wapi wapi." Inafanya na kama mzee, lakini yeah. ni muhimu sana mtu ajue kwamba mkiwa mnafanya show na Captain Otoyo back then, kuingineko. Yeah, nilikuwa yeah. nawasikia sana, yes. sana, yeah. sana, oh, sana, 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 sana. Nilikuwa sana sana sana. Na kuchat. Ah. And you know um I think I chatted you usiku. Yeah. Ndio masango kutafuta. Yes, guest. <laughs> <laughs> My bosses should be paying for <laughs> the extra. Hours. Magnesium because I need to sleep. I need that supplement to sleep. True. However, mm. niko hapa na kutafuta hey how are you? Yes. Would you come? Mm. Nimekubembeleza huko <laughs> Masawe kama hiyo likubembeleza basi sijui siku hizi watu wanabembeleza aje. Lakini you ulini... <laughs> Hakuhitaji kubembeleza that's what i mean. Uh, nilishtuka sana uki ukiwa unaniita na nikafurahia sana ndio maana nikaja. But also uh, you asked me that uh, in my career kama msanii ni nini imekuwa highlight yeah, kwangu? Yeah. Uh, ni kwamba mimi nimekuwa muigizaji for um, now 13 years. Wow. Yes. Well, Na in that time yeah. kuna vitu ambavyo vimefanyika. I've done numerous shows, I've yeah. done a number of films. Mm. But uh, uh, zile ambazo ni highlight kwangu ambazo naweza sema ni vitu tatu. Moja mm-hmm. nilifanya uh, movie kama lead character, mm-hmm. movie ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Chaguo. Chaguo ni movie ambayo ilikuwa inaongelelea um, ile tension ambayo inatokana na inatokea wakati watu wanaenda kufanya cross marriage inaitwa cross marriage ama intermarriage Inter-marriage. between one tri- tribe and the other during elections mm-hmm. katika nchi hii mm-hmm. sasa ilikuwa it was a very impactful film ana mpaka size iko netflix ule ambaye anataka kuona anaweza angalia chaguo pale netflix nilifanya kama lead character that was in 2022 that was a big highlight kwa kariya yangu netflix ah uh, yes bodo bo tunyeche kitu ligi kubwa ligi ni kubwa tuko na cameraman tuko na naomi hapa eh wa, wa, creator wa, wa, waweke account utuachile unatuachile <laughs> <laughs> on top character on Netflix. Yes. Wow, nice. Lead character on Netflix. Uh, yeah. thank you so much. And yeah. then um baada ya hapo pande wangu wa theater yeah. ni kwamba um nili, tuliweza kufungua in the year 2022 tuliweza kufungua our own theater, theater company nikiwa na marafiki wangu wengine wanne mm. inaitwa The Crony Production. Na in the two years The Crony Production imekuwa inaendelea 
uh, it's been nothing lakini success too kwa sababu hata last month in the month of february tulikuwa na show ilikuwa inaitwa what men want ambayo walikuwa na, tunaongelelea tu hii jambo ambalo tumeongelelea saa hii mm-hmm. na what men want what was men, want, uh, men are complex creatures uh-huh. tell us <laughs> what men want mwanaume mwanaume wacha nikupe mfano mm-hmm. abraham baba wa imani anapenda bibi yake sara tena sana However. <laughs> lakini however. <laughs> lakini however. kuna ule mwingine pale uh-huh. eh uh-huh. anamuona tena bado anampenda tena sana Daudi mkozi wetu Yesu anatoka katika lineage ya Daudi pale kwa Biblia Daudi ako na mke wake tena anampenda sana lakini bibi ya Uria anaoga pale kati Uria ameenda vita lakini Daudi bado sio kwamba ati amewacha kumpenda mkewe sio kwamba amewacha kumtumikia Mungu lakini bado tamaa inamuelekeza kwa bibi yake mke wake Uria. Kuonyesha kwamba wanaume we are complex creatures in terms of needs. Are you complex? <laughs> mimi kama ni kuacha mimi kama mwanaume wewe kama ni wewe kuna kuna the general mwanaume alafu kuna mimi kama 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 kwa wewe nick kwach mwanaume i complex mimi kama nick kwach naweza sema niko na many faces i am compound naweza ita kwamba niko compound Unasumbua. by that sisumbui uh-huh. kabisa sisumbui however lakini however na, nataka kusema kwamba <laughs> given a chance nikipewa fursa kwa wale wako katika maisha yangu ni waelezee vitu fulani ambavyo eh, vitakuwa ngumu kuelewa naweza kuwa na vitu vingi sana ambavyo naweza luozim uh, luozim hiyo <laughs> ni lifestyle kwanza <laughs> Vile umesema um, Luozim inda kusumbua uh, Luozim Luozim Sikia sikia <laughs> <laughs> Sisi Mungu alitutuma duniani sisi kama wajaluo hey. tukuje tuhakikishe kwamba watu wamepata character development mpaka by the time we are finished with you wewe ni mtu ambayo njia yako sasa imenyoroka roho ngumu but you've had a woman who's also done a CD on you <laughs> of course Yes, eh eh. Wasai wacha nikwambie. Mimi nafikiria Nafikiria um, kila mtu ako na ule mtu mmoja kwa maisha yake ambaye atamfanyia atamfanyia kitu yenye hata waisahau kwa maisha yake. Na huyo mtu atakubadilisha forever. You'll never be the same person again. In your case? In my case nilikuwa na mtu pia baby mama. Na nilikuwa very vulnerable. Hakuwa baby mama. Nilikuwa vile nilikuwa nampenda sana, nilikuwa. Na sasa hii hata ilikuwa hata ndio ile inaitwa young love. Young love ni ile bado your dreams. Unajua kuna hii age ambayo iko eh, bimi na semanga between when you are between 19 and 24. Hapo dreams are still alive bado unajiambia kama ulikuwa unataka kuwa rubani bado unaweza kuwa kama ulikuwa unataka kuwa daktari bado unaona kama by the time you are 28 utakuwa umeo utakuwa na gari utakuwa na nyumba nzuri na utakuwa na watoto wawili no, like uko na zile dreams ambazo sasa ndio hao sisi tulikuwa hapo kila siku tunaambiana vile tunapendana eh? tunakopeshana tunafanyana nini mapenzi mpaka umsichana ene ni promise mimi hata sijui mtu akuje na pesa gani acha nikwambie masawe ulinyoroshwa <laughs> <laughs> mimi kitu nitawaambia wanaume kama uko pale nje mwanaume tafuta pesa tafuta pesa oh. kwa sababu utakaribishwa town <laughs> utakaribishwa town I'm na so na, sorry. na sasa squeeze mimi so, alienda kwa mwanaume aliye na pesa zaidi kukushinda yes, yes. jamani na squeeze mimi kitu najiambianga ni uh, shukrani sante unataka unataka haji <laughs> masawe uki usi, inaitwa kutona isha kidonda mimi naitwa kufanya nini Number like pole. ukifanya hivi tena hiyo kidonda ni kama inakuwa mpya nimenyenyekea kwa msamaha <laughs> 
<laughs> Lakini after hiyo yeah. I think nilikuwa nikakuwa gangster sasa because sasa baada ya kukaribisha. Lakini sasa shida ni After that you never looked back. Ah, you yeah, were hurting ah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shida ni sasa aliharibia wengine ambao walimfuata kwa sababu Thank sasa hao wengine walipata gangster. <laughs> But a bad experience should not make you be a bad person. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But but also you never know when you're becoming a bad person. And would you say ni kitu ambacho kilifanya hata with your baby mama yeah. usiweze kuishi kwa pamoja kwa sababu ulipitia kitu kibaya. So you're here eh, not even accommodating, not mm. forgiving, not mm. uh, acknowledging mm. just because what you went through. Um Kshaputia, that's why nimesema kwamba you you never know when you're going through something until mtu akwambie that nafikiria you are going through something yenye is not about me. Mm. Unajua unaweza kutana na mtu na katika mahusiano mtu amekufanyia kitu ndogo kama umeona a text message yenye hauelewi and then you overreact. Now the other person is wondering why are you overreacting? Mm -hmm. They do not know that in your last relationship Ulipu. a text like that broke yeah. your heart. Yeah. Ili kuvunja roho kabisa mpaka ikakuwa sasa tena. Ni so ulipenda. Ah. <coughs> unajua <coughs> Unajua sisi wajaluo kitu ambao mjui. <coughs> ni kwamba sisi mi, sisi kama <laughs> Sisi kama wajaluo. <laughs> yaani sijawahi kuwa mkabila ila tu mm. sasa ya leo ninauliza. Eh, Kutu kwa kabila gani? Mtaita. Eh watoto wa kamba semsem. Hey. Kitu kimoja? Yaani is the same thing. Yelo yelo. <laughs> mtoto kadeka. Ah. ah. Mtoto alikuwa yani yule ushaona yule mtu ambaye hakuna mahali mnaenda mtu anakuambia ah bro hapo umejishindia. Okay. Bro hapo. Ah ya yeah, ya yeah, bro hapo. Kumbe wananiambia wanani wanani hivyo na wananipa ngia. <laughs> <laughs> Siku moja niliamka nikasikia ku. Imeenda. So so I uh, so uh, we in this case alikwambia vimekwisha ama ulikuwa ghosted. Masawe niliona mtu ametumia my girlfriend 57,000 shillings. Na sasa wewe unakunga na ngapi? 57 mimi mahali tuko tunangangana ndio tushikanishe 200 2000 ikienda sana 1500 mimi i think hata pesa nilikuwa nimemtumia the most inaweza kuwa ilikuwa 2000 tu na si ati nimemtumia ati enda utengeneze nywele nimemtumia enda ununue vitu tutumie wow <laughs> kwa hivyo uh, and, and the other thing i say ni ati kwa so chana wadogo. You never love without money. Is that what It's hard. It's hard. That one now hii na naongea na vijana so wadogo. Naongea na vijana so wadogo so direct. Uh, absolutely. But I cannot love you genuinely as uh, Nick and uh, Naomi. Hakuna kitu kama. It can never happen. Unajua, genuinely. Unajua hiyo kitu unaita genuine. Na hii si mapenzi kati ya msichana na kijana mm, peke yake. Mm. Hata mapenzi ya baba na mtoto lazima pesa iwepo. Mapenzi ya, ya ya wewe kama kijana na wazazi wako lazima pesa itakuwa. Money facilitates the relationship. Hakuna hakuna kitu kingine hapo katikati ya ti Money ati. facilitates so many things however yeah. I don't think when you actually genuinely love yeah. I need to use or spend your money for me to feel your love Sometimes um how about spending quality time how about <laughs> memories that we share Masawe, together Hiyo ndio nilifanya hiyo ndio nilifanya mkono tulishikana However, kifua nilipeana wakalalia kila kitu messages niliandika mimi hadi nilikuwa spoken word artist i quit because sasa kumbe zile words they meant nothing we kitu na mbayo nasema ni kwamba are you dating <laughs> yes right now yes are you a spoken word author ah <laughs> 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 yo nilitoka huko nilidesign kabisa alilisema acha I, re i realized that uh, comedians get the girls so i'm trying uko kwa comedy nione kama uh, you know <laughs> but uh, imagine ukipata a chance tena kwa maisha mm. um it's not fair for you to 
deal with people mm. because of your past experiences. I mean, this is a new chapter. Yeah. And you should deal with these people how they come by their own merit. Kweli. Nakubaliana na we kabisa na ndio. You could lose a very good woman because of a bad experience. Nakubaliana na we kweli kabisa lakini pia Usisahau ukisahau experience ambayo ulionyeshwa nyuma. My friend in three years you're not longer a youth. Sisi wanaume, acha nikwambie, sisi wanaume bora uko na pesa. Sisi gani bwana? No, these people don't eat well. Bora ukue na pesa masawe. Okay, asubuhi ulikula? Okay. <laughs> Tell me your day today. Eh? Uh-huh. You woke up at what time? I, I woke up at I usually wake up at 6. Mhm. Ukafanya? Ah, yes. uh, nilikuwa na kazi kidogo leo. Every day ni tofauti kidogo. Mimi sina routine lakini kwa leo mm-hmm. niliamka nilikuwa na kazi kidogo ya kumalizia between 6 na kitu 7:30. Mm-hmm. After hapo nikatumia breakfast. Ukakula nini? Nikakunywa chai chapati. Sikia. <laughs> <laughs> Eh eh chai cha party baada hapo sasa hizi inaelekea dakika tano ifike sana nani niko na wewe eh nika nikafanya shughuli zangu moja mbili kidogo za hapo hapo tu nyumbani this man is not lifting weights this man is not having proteins aworo let me tell you acha nikwambie mimi tangu ligundue hata wale wakonde pia tunawazika <laughs> Nilijiambia <laughs> short and sweet. In this my age, yeah? I have learned whatever mm. you do lift weights. Whatever you do lift weights. Go lift weights yeah. and have enough proteins and take your steps every day because Yo nakubaliana. Unamenelewa? Nakubaliana. Sasa kijana mdogo. Nakubaliana. Unakosa bibi kwa sababu unakataa kutembea na kuinua chuma. <laughs> ah, kuinua chuma masaya masa wacha nikwambie hakuna chuma inazidi chilingi kifikia wasichana. Ah, wewe inua chuma bwana. <laughs> Chuma ni ni own personal responsibility. Lakini si ati kwamba itakusaidia kutafuta kitu. After I'm done with you na kuingiza kwa transformational uh, uh, group. Takubali. Where yeah. lazima tuhakikishe and I tell my younger um um, um okay well um sijangoa kalenda kadhaa ila tu nimeoa. <laughs> <laughs> ah masawe bado mdogo. Bado mdogo sana. Nakubaliana na wewe mdogo. Bado mdogo sana. 16. Hata si mdogo mdogo. Mdogo mno. So my brother. Wewe shilingi ndo tatafuta na uinue chuma. Anyway my brother um I'm I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Um heartbreak siki to raisi. You know I your daughter is 10, right? Yes. yes. My first born turned 17 my other my my kuna wengi mm. well yeah my first born turned 17 mm. my second born turned 14 on mm. friday mm. international women's day wow. and i'm scared what are you scared about heartbreaks kwa pata wao no from uh, you know they're going to grow yeah. Yeah. and they're going to meet people yeah. and they want to um meet people and yes. people are going to break their hearts yeah so i don't know how i'm going to handle that actually now that's 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 my discussion that's, yeah that we utasaidiaje mtoto aweze ku unataka kuanza kuwe kati ya mtoto wangu akia mama unajua you kama nianza kufanya kung fu na ufugo umbo mkali no like you umbo because i'm not a killer however how are you breaking my young girl's heart i think the only i've raised them so well they are loving people they and and their dad is also amazing so why would you hurt my child you know masawe kama umewalea vizuri umewaequip because no 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 umewaequip they will be fine <laughs> because nick watch got a bad experience so she's going to he's going to hurt my daughter kama umemlea vizuri atajua kuni handle she will survive but why that's my problem every day i'm sorry i almost cast yes. however why na sipendi mm. and raise your daughter mm. and tell her mm. it is not your responsibility to, to raise, raise a broken a man. man yeah it is not your responsibility Kweli. you need a man that is fully 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 him grown yeah. I, mm. fully quatch yes a complete quatch <laughs> so that quatch can love you in a way that you want yeah 
I want to I because I I come from a good home yeah. raised in a certain way na hitaji mwanamume ambaye atanikubali atanipenda atanitunza kweli yeah kweli and my daughter will also do the same way yes atakupenda atakujali atakutunza yes so hakuna ati you need to behave a certain way because mm. you're a woman or a man i, I think quite cook <laughs> Na no, mtu afanye kitu ambaye yeye ni mzuri kufanya. Thank you. Yeah, if you are a good chef whether you are a man or a, a woman, something? do it yes. I, I became better yes. uh, as a cook in my marriage. <laughs> oh. I was never a good cook. Allah. But it's something that I learned. Allah. So nikikutana na wewe naomba pia unisaidie. Mm. Allah, <laughs> kwamba kwacho upiki usipika. <laughs> it's you need to go ah industry honestly yes it's it's not been easy honestly yeah, yeah, yeah kwa sani na industry si raisi mm. lazima ujisukume usonge Kweli. upige simu ngoje simu Kweli. how are you managing um mimi nitaambia mtu yote ambaye ako na ndoto ya kuwa msania kwamba sisi tulikuwa na ndoto ya kuwa wasani and there's nothing else we are doing to survive it's only usanii tunafanya tuki survive nilitaka kuwa journalist haiku succeed yeah. nilitaka kukua so many other things yeah. lakini wakati nilianza sana mm. that's the only thing kila kitu ambayo unaona kuwa cha kifanya hiyo ndio lifestyle yake don't give up your dream kama unajua kuna talent only you knows for now lakini ukionyesha dunia watajua pia na watakukubali and then on top of that discipline 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 kwa sababu sisi eh, wengine wengi wetu E, kwa sana bila discipline ah wengi ni wale wasanii wakali sana lakini kwa sababu hawana e, discipline ya kuji, kuji unajua mimi nasemanga sana ni kama small business it's like an, uh, those are SMEs ule mtu wa mutura lazima weke shilingi yake kumi 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 mingi ndio mm-hmm. ifike 1300 yeah. mwisho wa mwezi mm-hmm. ni kama usanii pia utapata kumi, tano, sita, saba hautawahi ukiangukia utapata utafanya lead character upate pesa lakini usipoangukia zitakuwa ndogo ndogo nyingi kuwa very responsible na hizo and then keep doing what you're doing uh, my final words inaweza kuwa kwamba uh, uh, nashukuru sana kwa ile support ambayo mmenipea uh, kwa mitandao katika kazi zangu ambazo nafanya kwa wale wajui mitandao yangu utanipata kwa Nick Quatch kila mahali Nick Quatch on Facebook Nick Quatch pale Twitter Nick Quatch pale TikTok and Nick Quatch pale Instagram pia and you're almost true ukifanya zile video zenu wena ule baby mama wako mle <laughs> hata mimi i'll react like your baby mama na nimeleta salamu zake AC Stevens amesema ni wasalimia atakuja hapa next pia hao pigi story na masawe hapa tia wasawe experiences hapa na aliniambia aliona na atakuja alini blue tick atakuja imagine you blue tick ni mwa <laughs> atakuja nitamuongelesha vizuri hiyo ni wachie Okay. Yeah, you know, and then now uh, two last things. Ni kona play that is coming up uh, uh, this Friday. Iko pale Brayburn Theater Gitanga Road inaitwa What Men Want. Tunafanya rerun. Only one show. What the do last men want? Tumeongelelea mambo mengi. <laughs> That's a good question. Come find out on Friday. What <laughs> men want? What men want? Uh, you know, they've never ever discovered what women want. So yeah. at least men they say uh, Uh, one way to get to a man's heart is through his stomach yeah so men want uh, food so yeah they want food and peace full stop men do not want a lot of things it's just that the peace is now where complication is but ukiona <laughs> 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 ukiona message usini kasirikie bado nakupenda that's the peace we want um and then well, last you, the, you know when you want peace also create the peace yeah absolutely so do you create the peace you swali nzuri Yeah. So when you want peace create the peace. <laughs> create the peace you want. Your slogan nzuri. Uh, and then uh, finally niko na movie this is another big project that I did in a, in a very ha- big highlight in my uh, career as an artist. Mm-hmm. The first Dholuo movie yenye nimefanya. 
as a lead character inaitwa Otis Janam umseko netflix <laughs> inaitwa Otis Janam Otis Janam pia ina premiere on the 27th of march uh, all the details itakuwa kwa social media zangu kuja pale eh, itakuwa KCC Uh, if you want to nini uh, reach out to me on my social platforms pia namba yangu iko outside Nick there kwach. Nick Kwach at Nick Kwach at Nick okay, Kwach okay. kila mali Nick, Nick that is N I C K mm-hmm. and then Kwach K W A C H okay. namba yangu ya simu 0786106237 na utafuti bibi ah, uh, akikuja pia ni sawa <laughs> anaweza kama fan akikuwa anaweza kama fan kidogo kidogo mama watoto <laughs> Utatulia. Uh, a good question. We? <laughs> Whatever you do don't get him. <laughs> He is the safest man I assure you. <laughs> he is not even sure that he's going to settle. Hey, Nick, hey, whatever I want to tell girl to you. Aliniharibu. You are broken. Aliniharibu. Na tafuta tena mgiri ama mwingine mpokomo akuja ni nitengeneze. Eh so umeamua ni bantu girls. Ah uh, hata mkamba, hata mkamba <laughs> nzuri ya bantu sana. I think wajaluo wa, wa, wa watuko sana kwa Nylots. Tuko sana huko kwa bantus. Kama sio Central ni kwa Wakamba, ama ni Wameru, ama ni Waswahili. <laughs> so me I have a sister. Aha. Uh-huh. Eh miaka yako ni ngapi unatafuta nikusaidie ah. kupatia bibi size na ishe wewe wewe ni pe uachana mambo mingi mambo ya miaka mambo ya nini hiyo tutasuluhisha <laughs> <laughs> tunaongea after hii mashiza <laughs> kisika shikini <laughs> wakisi watu wazuri <laughs> so ukitoka hapo unakuona bibi done <laughs> usiwahi sema sijawahi ku bless umenijenga <laughs> Apo no, umenijenga. Naomi nyaboke. Naomi nyaboke gone. <laughs> <laughs> Officially we have a wedding. Gone. No, Anze ni kushona theme tunawapea mapema. I can already see the black is blacking so tutaona tu. Which black? Ni sunscreen na jajipaka tu vizuri. Hapana uh, nasi. Mimi naongelelea nguo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi you had better get married this year. Finish I've given you a husband. Ha? Ah, Huu mwaka eh. Hey. Nick, thank you very much for coming. I love creatives because uh see yeah. this show nasikia kama tungeanza saa It's been amazing. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Asante sana. Thank you honestly, thank you for coming. Uh, I thought you don't come. Uh, thank you so so much. I mean, are, let me come. tell you um I, um Today I'll share my experience. Yes. Uh, it's very easy when I do human interest stories yeah. because una text and akwambia na come. Yeah. Lakini mki text ma celebs. Ni akikam una sanga unaambia msikilizaji samahani kwa sababu zilizo hawezi kuepukana. Hajafika. Au come because you understand. Na hiyo ndio jira. Tunasumbua ma celebs mnasumbua. Tunataka kuchange hiyo. Tumeanza kuchange hiyo. Honestly, thank you for coming. Thank you so much I never thought you'll uh, make it. Thank you so but much. kila laheri katika um, show zako ambazo zinakuja so naomba much. tena urudie namba kwa mtu ambaye pengine ningependa kununua uh, uh, tiketi moja kwa moja yes. namba yako ya simu tafadhali namba yangu ya simu 0786 mm-hmm. 106 237. Okay. Uh, na social media zangu sana sana ndio utanipata inquiries zote uko nazo na pia unaweza follow The Crony Production. Okay. Asante sana. Safi. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>